Hey guys, I'm back with another action figure review, and this time we're going to take a look at the DC Universe Classic Sinestro Corps Batman. The Sinestro Corps Batman was released in October 2010 as part of Wave 15, the Validus Wave. So, uh, this is another figure from my boyfriend's collection. He actually picked this guy up um, a while ago now, probably around, you know, shortly after the wave was released. Um, in a Marshalls for like eight bucks. Um, I don't have the packaging because it was so so long ago, but I do have um, the card for uh, Raven, who was from the same wave. So, just to give you an idea, um, you know what the card looks like. Bam, you know, um, and the back. Obviously, it has her stats, but the bottom, you can see the rest of the wave. And Validus. He includes the um, torso, which I will show you. My Validus still has no lefty limbs. <laughs> and you must be saying, well, after that big hole, you didn't get anything for Validus? Um, I'm not really in a, r a rush to complete my Validus. Um, but the rest of the, the two other figures that I need are cheap on Amazon. Um, I've just been waiting to get um, some more um, Amazon gift cards from Bing Rewards. Um, I'm up to like $15 now, so I just kind of wanted to get like maybe five or ten more to just, you know, cover the cost. Why not, right? Since I'm not in a rush. Uh, but yeah. So, he's really cool. Um, he's never actually appeared in a comic like this. Um, there is one... There's one panel in one comic where Batman does indeed put on a Sinestro Corps ring, but he doesn't actually look like this. He's actually purple, um, and, you know, that doesn't last past a panel, so it's not even really relevant. But they decided to um, put this figure out anyway. And um, I actually, I know I don't have the card, but I know that the back of his card, if you look at the back, um, his stats or end or bio, I'm not sure which one it is or if it's both, actually have just like question marks because at the time of his release people were th suspecting that he might be introduced in a comic, but that never happened so I'm not really sure what that was about. Um, so he does come with one accessory which is this uh, yellow, you know, con yellow lantern construct uh, in the shape of a bat, or a batarang more specifically I suppose. Um, it's really nicely sculpted, and it's in this translucent yellow that, you know, matches the green from Green Lantern Constructs. Um, it doesn't particularly fit on his hand and stay there very well. Um, is this the wrong hand? Is this the wrong hand? Oop. So you kind of just press it over his fist, which, as you can see, is already going smashingly. Is this the wrong hand? Am I? I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was that hand. And I think I'm right. Um, so as you can see, guys, this is not very easy. And I don't think... Oh, well, that's the closest I'm going to get, I think. <laughs> and it's upside down. But if I turn it, it's probably going to fall off. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, well, that's his accessory, that's pretty lame, but it's something, right? So, we'll take a look at the figure. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this figure by now, I'm just, you know, giving my take as usual. Um, again, a nice figure, very simple, you know, DC Universe Classics, um, Buck, Sinestro Horror style. Well, it's a mat, it's basically a mashup of, uh, you know, classic, uh, not classic, well, Yellow yellow Lantern, Sinestro, and Batman. Um, so, we'll take a look up close here. He's got that lovely face that we've seen on both this figure and the modern Legacy Batman, which most of us replace with another head. Uh, in this case, I can see it working for the Yellow Lantern. I'm not sure why they had reused it for the modern Batman. But a it's a nice sculpt. It's just, you know, who wants to look at that all the time on their regular Batman? This case, I said, I say it's appropriate. Um, so you know, he's he's just a standard buck. Uh, he's got the Sinestro core belt at the waist, going all the way around. Very nice. Um, the gauntlets 
are a little different from regular Batman gauntlets. They have the stripes in them, but they have his regular um, spikes coming off of them. Paint job is very clean, very nice. The symbol is also looks clean, um, which he also has again on the bicep. Uh, again, again, very clean. The lines are not as clean on the bicep stripe as the rest of the figure, but not too bad. Cape is the regular Batman cape. My camera's a little slow to focus today. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, the boots are um, sculpted. The sculpted, you know, triangle in the front boots. And very bright yellow. The one thing that bothers me about this figure in particular is, again, the boots and his paint job here are very bright yellow. It looks great. It looks really nice and yellow. And then his gauntlets are this kind of gold color. And, you know, in its its own way, it's a nice color, but it doesn't match the yellow at all. And um, it just kind of bothers me because it looks like it should be all one unified color, um, but it's not. And, you know, like on a Green Lantern figure, for example, say, um, um, Hal doesn't have green, um, John, John Stewart should have green there. You know, I'm sure his matches his body. Um, so I'm not sure why they gave him gold gauntlets. Um, can take a look at the ring here. So it does have, it has, it has, okay, sorry. Uh, yes, it does have the Sinestro Corps. Um, emblem, but it is very hard to tell. For a second I thought it was just a Green Lantern ring re-sculpted, but I mean, obviously, yeah, but it does, I think I think that is the Sinestro Core emblem in there. Not the best sculpt, but he's got it. And it's and it also the bright yellow. So yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, just a little thrown by the gold. But what are you gonna do? So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's really, you know, that's really all there is to say about him. He, um, you know, he's got a closed fist with the, the ring hand, and he's got an open hand on this side. I'm not really sure why. His only accessory is one that pops on. It doesn't, he doesn't hold it, so. I mean, I suppose you could give him some kind of battering from another figure if you wanted to, instead of, but I don't know why he would, because he has a yellow lantern battering. Yellow construct battering, whatever you want to call it. Um, which is what he you know, would use if he had this ring, I'm sure. So, we'll go through articulation. Um, the head, you know, 360. It seems to want to stay down for some reason, but it does go straight. It doesn't really go up at all. Um, the shoulders, typical DCUC, all the way around, in and out, up and down, side to side, whatever. <laughs> Bicep swivel, single elbow, and twist at the wrist. He he has an ab crunch, which goes back nicely, forward not as much. He has a waist twist that is very loose on this figure. If you didn't notice through my whole review, he's kind of just kept turning and turning and turning. And he has this triangle of yellow that stretches down and you know, it's part of the design. And every time you twist it, it breaks. Breaks that design. But that's, you know, that's the design of the figure, so. I mean, the, the costume, so. I mean, then again, you know, this isn't even comic accurate because he never wore this, so they could have just kind of maybe ended the yellow here instead. So it wouldn't break at the twist, but whatever. Uh, T-joint legs, in and out, up and down. Twist above the knee, single knee, and standard ankle articulation forward and back. Pretty good motion, though. I just wish they had a rocker. So that's great. Um, there's just one more thing I noticed as going through the articulation is he's another one of those kind of annoying ones where he's one color on the top of his shoulder and then another on the bottom. So he's got one color disc on the top. Great. It's yellow. Which, by the way, look at that. Oh, ow. He, he, they obviously cast him in black, in black plastic and then used yellow paint and he's getting some joint rub in there. Whew. It's just got this black outline around the ball discs. In his shoulders. Yuck. 
And then, so, yeah, so as you can see, the disc is yellow, which makes sense, but then you whip his arms up, and he's got that ugly yellow disc in there. So another one that I just kind of want to take black Sharpie to, which I've never, not done on any of them yet, but I, I probably will. But that's just the way it is. They don't make two colored discs, so makes more sense to show the top color than the bottom. So there you have it, guys. That is my take on the uh, Wave 15 Sinestro Core Batman. Pretty cool figure you know, for what it is. And fun to add to your Batman collection. And, yeah. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. It's been waiting to get um, some more um, Amazon gift cards from Bing Rewards. Um, I'm up to, like, $15 now, so I just kind of wanted to get, like, maybe 5 or 10 more to... Just, you know, cover the cost. Why not, right? Since I'm not in a rush. Uh, but yeah. So, he's really cool. Um, he's never actually appeared in a comic like this. Um, there is one... There's one panel in one comic where Batman does indeed put on a Sinestro Corps ring, but he doesn't actually look like this. He's actually purple. Um, and you know, that doesn't last past a panel, so it's not even really relevant, but they decided to, um, put this figure out anyway. And, um, I actually, I know I don't have the card, but I know that the back of his card, if you look at the back, um, his stats, or, and, or bio, I'm not sure which one it is, or if it's both, actually have just, like, question marks, because at the time of his release, people were suspecting that he might be introduced in a comic. But that never happened, so I'm not really sure what that was about. Um, so, he does come with one accessory, which is this uh, yellow, you know, con yellow lantern construct uh, in the shape of a bat. Or a batarang, more specifically, I suppose. Um, it's really nicely sculpted, and it's in this translucent yellow, same wave. So, just to give you an idea, um, you know, what the card looks like. Bam. You know. Um... And the back, obviously it has her stats, but the bottom, you can see the rest of the wave. And Validus. He includes the um, torso, which I will show you. My Validus still has no lefty limbs. <laughs> and you must be saying, well, after that big hole and you didn't get anything for Validus? Um, I'm not really in a, r a rush to complete my Validus. Um, but the rest of the, the two other figures that I need are cheap on Amazon. Um, I've just... That, you know, matches the green from Green Lantern Constructs. Um, it doesn't particularly fit on his hand and stay there very well. Um, is this the wrong hand? Is this the wrong hand? Oop. So you kind of just press it over his fist. Which, as you can see, is already going smashingly. Is this the wrong hand? Am I? I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was that hand. And I think I'm right. Um, so as you can see, guys. Hey guys, I'm back with another action figure review. And this time we're going to take a look at the DC Universe Classics Sinestro Corps Batman. The... Sinestro Corps Batman was released in October 2010 as part of Wave 15, the Validus Wave. So, uh, this is another figure from my boyfriend's collection. He actually picked this guy up um, a while ago now, probably around, you know, shortly after the wave was released, um, in a Marshalls for like eight bucks. Um, I don't have the packaging because it was so, so long ago, but I do have... Um, the card for uh, Raven, who was from 